In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use hypothesis social annotation to annotate your vital source inclusive access e-text. First, I'm going to show you what it looks like to access and annotate a vital source e-text using hypothesis. I'll find my annotation assignment in my Canvas course. The first thing that you as the instructor and that students will want to do is make sure they have access to the vital source e-text and that they're logged into vital source by clicking on the link in the canvas assignment description and making sure to accept cookies on the page so i'm going to click on this link to ensure i'm logged in and i would accept cookies if it prompted me to on the bottom of the screen now that I have ensured I have access to the textbook, I'll go back to my Canvas tab and click to load the text with hypothesis. Here you can see the annotation sidebar on the right, which is overlaid over the text of the Vital Source ebook on the left. Instructors and students can add annotations as they would with any other document by selecting the text they would like to annotate and then clicking the annotate button. Now I'll show you how to set up a hypothesis enabled reading using a vital source e-text. The first thing I'll want to do is find my vital source e-text that I'd like to use with hypothesis. Once I have the book I would like to use, I can click on the little I button that appears on the book's vital source page to find the URL of the e-text. I'll copy this URL and I'm going to want to put this in two different places. Now I can start the process of creating my hypothesis enabled reading. In Canvas, I'll navigate to the assignments tab on the left hand menu and then click the plus assignment button. Then I'll input my assignment details. In the instructions, I'll want to include my annotation instructions, but I'll also want to include a link to the text. So before my students access the hypothesis enabled reading, they'll want to click on this link to ensure they're logged into their vital source e-text. Once I've added my instructions into the assignment description, I'll scroll down and select external tool as my submission type. After selecting external tool, I'll click the find button and find hypothesis in the list of tools available. From here, I'll find the hypothesis file picker and I'll want to select vital source. I'll again paste the URL of the textbook I've chosen to annotate and click the little arrow to continue. Then I'll click select book. And from here, I can select the chapter or section that I would like students to annotate. So I'm going to have students annotate chapter two and click select and continue. Finally, I will click the select button once again to finalize that connection. Choose a due date for the assignment and save. Now, when I launch my e-text, I'll see the hypothesis annotation sidebar on the right-hand side of the screen overlaid over chapter two of my vital source e-text. 